Hi guys, Alistair Taylor here. I have just this week, earlier this week, um, reviewed the new TaylorMade M1 driver. Um, probably the biggest question I've had asked since I've done that, particularly by our members here at Heron's Reach, is, is M1 better than R15? So where R15 was fantastic last year, um, very low spinning, so you could get the high launch, low spin, um, Taylor made obviously claiming with M1 that removing a little bit of that weight out the top of the club, putting it down in the bottom, um, maybe going to help give a touch more club head speed and certainly able to get that spin down for the guys who want it and for the guys who maybe R15 was too low spin, can maybe spin it a little bit more with M1. So I've got nine and a half head set up low spin in M1 and just as is with the weight in the middle on the front track for both of them. I'm going to hit R15 first, like I said, nine and a half head. I'm going to use the same shaft, Cura Cage Silver, stiff shaft, to try and make it as fair as possible. I, I, I know guys will say it means me making exactly the same swing, hitting it out of exactly the same part of the club face. I'm going to try and do that as much as I can. So we're going to hit five real balls on flight scope with each one and we're going to compare some numbers and see, for me, which one performs best. So we're going to go with R15 first, only because this one's been out a little bit longer. Um, like I said, performed very, very well, particularly for guys who did spin it too much. So, like I said, five real balls, flight scope, let's hit them and let's see what works. So, first time I've actually tried this shaft in this. I did have this in my own driver last year. Straight off the bat, that's good. I mean, for you guys that love tailor-made product, you'll want to try M1, whatever these results are, but And again, that's good. Now, we are back into the wind a little bit today. So when I did my M1 review, the wind wasn't a massive amount, if I'm being honest. So might see some slight different yardages from the other day, but the wind's gonna be the same for both drivers, so it's a fair comparison. Again, fantastic. Nice high, I mean, it looks like it's hardly spinning at all. Okay, last couple with R15. And like I said, even though it's into the wind, it looks like it's going through the wind. Looking where they're going to. And one's going to have to perform very, very well. I mean, for me, they'd all be down the fairway and it'll be a good distance. Good. Okay, so I'm going to swap R15 head, like I said, exactly the same shaft. Uh, put the M1 in there. Interested to know, particularly when you guys are leaving comments, have any of you guys tried them side by side? How did you find them? Have any of you just tried M1? Are there any drivers coming out that you're looking forward to trying? I can think of a few. Okay, so again, nine and a half, same shaft, five, hopefully very similar swings. Again, that's great. Maybe just look to touch, touch lower that one. Again, that's great, just straight through the wind. Might be wrong when I look at these numbers on flight scope. 
I think it's going to be very, very close looking at those first couple though. Getting very good. God, you know, I should maybe even play a bit. I might actually hit some fairways. Last couple. Again, just really, really solid. I mean, in defense, you know, I'm, I'm somebody who wants to get that spin down as much as I can with driver. And R15 did perform really, really well when I tested it last year. And any of you guys that have watched my M1 video, you know, I hit it really good in that. Another one really solid. Yeah, I mean, that's five good, not necessarily right out of the screws with both, but five good solid shots with M1, five good solid shots with R15. Let's look at some numbers, see who comes out on top. Okay guys, so when we look at numbers, carry-wise, only one yard in it, R15 just edging it. Uh, total though, M1 just edging it by three yards. And it's saying overall, with five shots each, I did swing the R15 a little quicker, but didn't strike it quite as good, so my ball speed was down. Uh, certainly when I did the video for M1, I did feel M1 was very, very forgiving. So I struck it better, more ball speed. Uh, key was I spun it a little bit less, and I am talking a fraction less, and I have got it spit, uh, set up at low spin. Uh, if anything, probably just launched M1 a little lower today than I maybe did in my review video. So that could be down to strike. Uh, and definitely did hit it a bit flatter. Okay, guys, so when we look at those numbers off flight scope, I mean, there was, there was nothing in it, was there? I mean, R15 by a yard in carry, M1 by three yards. So for me personally, if I already had R15 in the bag, would I change to M1? Maybe I would, because I think it, it may, for me, looks a little bit nicer and feels a little bit nicer, but I'm probably not changing on performance. Having said that, I knew R15 already performed really, really well for me. Um, I mean, I would stress, I think, as close as my numbers were, I've done a few fits already for guys, and they've been very close, and M1 has always slightly edged it, and guys have changed because they like the look and feel. Um, you ultimately need to try it for yourself. See what you think. See if M1 for you, because you might be a guy who doesn't really spin it a lot with R15, M1 could be perfect for you. Maybe that ability for less spin, again, comes with this. But just for today's video of R15 versus M1, my winner today is the brand new M1 driver, 460 head against 460, but the M1 slightly outperformed R15. So guys, thank you for watching the video. Appreciate you taking the time to watch. Leave any comments below. Uh, always look forward to reading your comments and hopefully getting back to you as quick as I can. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hopefully see some of you guys down here in the future. Stay in contact.